Welcome to this bird track video. In this video I'll be taking you on a tour of the home page. First you'll see there are several elements within the page and I'll be taking you through these individually. First off on the left hand side you'll see the option to log out and then the your option menu and this will take you to the various pages within bird track. On the rest of the page are several other elements which we call widgets. These widgets can be resized, moved or closed. To move one Simply grab the top of the widget and drag it to where you want. The widgets in the centre of the page can only be moved up and down in the centre and those on the right hand side of the page can only be moved within the right hand side of the page. If you wish to resize them, click on the cog in the top right hand corner and select one of the different sizes and click close. Here you can then move them side by side if you wish to. I'm going to return them back to their original size. The first widget that you can see at the top is the activity feed. This gives a summary of your most recent visits and it shows the date, the location that you visited, what type of records you collected, how many species you recorded and any highlights. There's also a map of the place that you visited which shows that how the site has been defined. The Twitter and Facebook buttons allow you to share these visits via social media. By clicking on the date, you can edit the visit, whilst clicking on the site will allow you to edit the site. You can show more or less visits by clicking the more and less buttons. The next widget is the Britain and Ireland map. This displays the records submitted to BirdTrack in the last 30 days. The darker the red, the more records. You can zoom in on the map to get a finer details. There are four different coloured pins, red, green, purple and blue. Red pins signify national rarities, green local rarities, purple threshold breakers such as out of season records and high counts and the blue pins signify all other records. Double clicking on one of these pins will display a summary of the species seen and who and when the sightings were made. You can search for a particular species by clicking the cog in the top right hand corner of the widget and then entering the species you wish to search for. In this case I'm going to search for tufted duck and click go. This then displays a map of all the records of tufted duck. The red pins are those within the last 30 days and the green pins are for older records. And again zooming in and double clicking on a pin will give you more information. next widget is the Britain and Ireland report and graph. This widget displays the historical report and rate together with the report and rate for the current year for a particular species, in this case snipe. You can change the species by clicking the settings cog and then typing in the species you wish to view. Again I'm going to use tufted duck and click go. Clicking the question mark will randomly select the species The species chosen are relevant to the time of year. You can export these graphs as either a PNG image, JPEG image, PDF document, an SVG vector image or you can print the chart. The final widget in the centre is the recent sightings widget. This is slightly different to the 30 day one in that it covers the world. You can zoom in and out of the map using the scroll wheel on the mouse or the plus and minus keys on the widget. You can also go to full screen on this by clicking the button. Clicking it again will take you back. The settings button allows you to change the type of records displayed. You can look at all records in the last three days, seven days or 14 days. You can look at just your records or notable records, again within the same timescales. And you can also search for a particular species. Clicking the settings button will remove the options. Now let's look at the widgets on the right hand side. The first one here is the My List Species widget. This displays the number of species that you've seen during the course of the year. The number of species seen in the current month and for the year are displayed at the top of the widget. 
hovering over a particular month will also display the number of species recorded in that month. It's also possible to display a graph of the number of lists you've submitted during the year by clicking the list tab. Again this shows the number of complete lists for the current month and for the year in total. You can select the country that you wish to view this for by clicking the settings cog and then selecting the particular country that you want to display the records for. The next widget is the calendar widget. This highlights the current day in blue, the days that you submitted casual lists in purple and the days that you submitted complete lists in black. Clicking on one of these will enable you to edit the records for that particular day. The next widget is the high scores widget. You're probably familiar with this from the original website. This shows a league table for the complete lists this month and the species you recorded this year and where you fit in within that table. You can change the country and the display options by clicking the settings button. The next widget is the targets widget. This displays a list of species which have been recorded during the year which you have yet to record. Against each species is the number of times it has been recorded during the year so far and these are ranked from highest to lowest. Clicking the up and down arrow changes from the most frequently to the least frequently recorded species. Underneath is a table displaying the species that you've recorded the most frequently and again clicking the arrow will change from the highest number of records to the lowest number of records. Clicking the settings button allows you to change the country, the time scale so you can choose between year and life list and whether you choose to display just targets, just lists or both together. Clicking the settings button takes you back. The Twitter widget shows the Twitter feed from BirdTrack and allows you to scroll through the most recent tweets and like and share the tweets. The final widget is the Flickr widget. This shows the most recent images to be submitted to the BirdTrack Flickr page. Clicking on an image will take you to that image within Flickr. To remove a widget, click on the X in the top right hand corner of the widget. And if you wish to reinstate the widget, go to the settings button in the top right hand corner and then reselect the widget you wish to display.